What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Bormwood Youth Academy Promote episode number seven. So, as you can see, episode number seven went seventh place after 24 matches. We are three points away from 10th place, but we also are three points away from fifth place. So, we can go either way as of right now, but I don't see us winning the title 10 points away. But in the top goal scoring list, we have two. Vanilla has nine, and Thyxen has eight. So, we're doing really good in that department. We're going to play the Hartley Pool game, by the way. This is how the team's looking. Thag is in at winger. The T Y center forward. That Baba not winger. Same midfield as last time. Same defense. Nothing's changed since the beginning of the last game. Or I guess Patterson's gonna start, but nothing else has changed. Well, the Miss Bench has is Balgan Mabeyev from um from I don't remember where. Kazakhstan and what's his name? Borja Rojas from Dominican Republic. They both joined the bench. And you might notice, where is Hughes? And Amadoka. Well, it is January. They both got themselves loaned out. Amadoka loaned out to West City Wanderers, it looks like. And Eddie Hughes to Patricia Dorman, too. That's. I'm pretty sure that's all we've done. She, we do it. We might have transferred someone away, too. Yeah. Gian Fedorachenko left because I didn't notice we already had a Kazakhstan player when I signed the new one. So I had to let the other one go. Um, actually, here's a quick rundown of the players' growth in January from here. A lot of players going up quite a bit, but a couple players not going up that much. Um, yeah, Alam looks like the best player here by far. Oh, he is. Might sign him back eventually, but what we got to worry about now is the first game. So let's go ahead and play that. All right. So as you might have seen earlier, like I or like I said earlier, our first game against Hartley Pool. Um, I would say they should be in their other kit, but I'm pretty sure the other kit's white, so it doesn't really matter. But with the way we've been playing, I think we can take on Hartley Pool pretty comfortably this game. Where I want, where I want him to go. Mark Tam. A good save by Kill Up again. It's a good ball. Another good ball. Don't play around us in the corner, come on. Of course they do. They just played around us in the corner for a little bit and scored. Alam? That might be our Alam. If, it's, if so, that's really bad. Okay. Ju, you have to come back. Why well, they shoot that really wide? We got lucky. We're pushing right down the middle now. Find them wide open and they score. It's a real shame. We score again. We're getting obliterated by Hartley Pool right now. Go header. Good stuff, Pete Patterson. Better stuff up Addison. Vanilla. Play him in. But T.Y. in on goal. Makes it 3-1 to one to end the first half. Which, I mean, this makes it a lot easier for the second half, but it was still down by 2. It was like the defender cut over to guard me. And I just played a simple through ball to T.Y. So... Looks like we're back a closer in the game. I mean, they're not back in the game, but we're close. So let's try to get in the halftime, make a couple changes, bring in the two new kids, and let's see how we can do. It's Matiwan's not been doing anything, so he's still coming out. But yeah, we're going right in the halftime, making some changes. All right, so Balgam and Bev comes in at center forward, and Borja Rojas comes in at right winger from Matiwa and what's his name? Babana. So. That's all the changes we're going to make, and hopefully, that's all it takes to get back in this game. It's a really bad shot. Yeah, it sucks to be them. Well, Futuk gets it again. Oh, Balgamev. I don't know if he's got the beating on his man. Oh, he does. And he makes it 2-1 in his debut. Bombs into the crowd. 
trying to make think someone's gonna keep it, but the steward is just gonna take it back. And now we are only down by one. It's Balgamev cutting past his defender. No skill move or anything, just cuts back. Because Lice is a nice shot, sort of down the middle ish, but just too much power for the goalkeeper to handle. Great shot. Now let's try to get another one. Oh, Fanaloa. Drop it top of the box. Oh, to Jakaya, you have to be making those. Good tackle. And a false out of the team. Make it 4 to 2. Well, that's what I get for saying this game should be easy ish. We get absolutely. We blow them out of the park the second half, yet we tie 1 to 1 the second half. This second half has been an obliteration by us. But yep, they still might find a way to win. And I'm pretty sure they've had one shot this whole second half. So let me, honestly, let's just go on and play the second match. I don't want to talk more about this match at all. Alright, we got a game to simulate in the EFL Trophy, Chick Trade Trophy. And we get stopped in the second round, which is pretty sad. Now we got a game against Gunthorpe, who are two places below us in ninth. We lose 2-1. to one. The team's been sucking this episode, honestly. Like, really bad. But again, something against Morcom, which this one should be easy, but knowing how this team's been playing, yep, we lose. Of course. Now we're going to play our second match of the episode against Carlisle United. Hopefully, we can pick up our first thing that's not a loss this episode. Because somehow we've gotten four losses and on the bounce. It's a good shot, but I'll keep us to match it. Another good tackle from Fanaloa. Let's see what turns his man. Gets an opening. Defender covering over. Can he stop it? No, he can't, but what can stop a TWAR is football ability. Passing to him back. Oh. He lets it run. And Mark Tam might have got a little lucky there. But putting that in the back of the net. Because this shot, I ain't gonna lie, wasn't the greatest. If you see my mouse on screen, that's my fault. But he puts it. I mean, really? If I'm being realistic, he puts it where the keeper should catch it. But we know how these keepers are. Sometimes, sometimes they save everything. And sometimes, that goes in. I wasn't really going to say anything at first. Because I was like, that's going to go ahead and be a really easy save from the Carlisle goalkeeper. But, which is the net. Does it really matter how the goal goes in if we were winning? No. Head that out. Great save the Patterson right there. Head that out. He wins it. Patterson get back up. They back off of him. Fanalua. Slightly wide. Good stuff, my food's up. Can you give it right back? Good save by Patterson. That's an uncle. Has to be an uncle. Patterson has been doing good all day. And that's in the easiest goal I've ever seen. So I don't know about him being doing good no more. Across the middle of the box. Oh, that's an easy header from Matiwa. Just do something with it. Fanalua. Makes a great touch. Oh, that's a brilliant strike. Curls it right into the up echelon of the net. That's exactly what I wanted to be doing. And it's something he hasn't been doing. The finesses have not been working. But now, he's got his one. Let's look at this. I didn't think straight power was going to work. The curl he put on, put on it, I think puts it straight, um, slightly outside of the key. No. It went above the keeper's hand. Keeper just couldn't dive high enough. It's still a good shot, though. Hmm. This match actually turned into a promising counterattack. Run up, Abana. Power. Oh, that's a great save by the keeper, but it was shot right at him. And this is going to be the last play of the half. Cross it in. Chikaya. That was even a save. Goal line clearance. And we go in the half with only a 2-1 lead. Should really be more. 
But am I going to complain about a lead? No, I'm not. Let's get back to the second half. I'm going to make one sub. It's going to be Mafuta because he has a yellow. Alright, so Tashuma comes in from Mafuta. And he switches to CDM. And then Tichikai goes back at center back. And I think Tichikai is a pretty good center back. So I think he can hold down the fort. A cross there would have been brilliant. Shoot that. How did that go in? I was aiming like side posts. But he decides to not do what I want to do. But Angle complained because he puts it in the back of the net. I think that might have been a deflection. Because that looks like it was shot right at the keeper and the keeper didn't save it. And look right here. It wasn't a deflection. It looks like the keeper just had an absolute howler right around here-ish. No, nope. that shot was despicably bad. Let's go. It doesn't take like one second. I sh Okay, look at this. Actually, uh, I mean, well, our shooting typically means top corner, but I guess if you're going by a literal stance, I guess it could have went down the center. All right, Bob and I was making space for himself to run into. Fake the pass there. Cross goal. Ooh. Mock Town. After his other shot being kind of, not kind of, really, really bad. Almost like an FU to the fans. This shot just goes soaring into the side netting. Who do they want to do for Bauman? I'll put him Bauman. It's a very tight needy finish. Look at this. It's not even a keep the keeper's fault. That's just a really nice finish from Mocktown. I think it's fourth of the season. Let's see why I'll just cut in. That was a really bad tackle. Let's see why I'll just keep cutting in. Volley that Mocktown. Oh my god. Mocktown almost scored one of the goals of the season with that. That was crazy good. He's been playing good this today. I mean, it was it was coming. After that last strike Patrick missed, he had to make one eventually. But it's too late. Two minutes. Oh, that's a bad tackle. Two minutes and a down by two. Maybe even down by three when Mark Temp hits his absolute worldie. Never mind. That pass was so bad. I think that ends the game for them. No breath size to be a little favorable and give them one more attack. Goal could save, clear it out. Good clearance. That's game. End up beating Carlisle United. Right scoreline, a 4 to 2. Good stuff. I'm going to go and simulate this match against Doncaster Rovers. Because we just played the last match, it would be weird to play two in a row. We lose three to two because we just can't seem to win if I don't play anymore. All right, new scouting reports in Kenya. I think we have to take this guy. Everyone else kind of looks pretty bad. I can just reject him because it's the last scouting report, too. Ooh, this is a no brainer. I'm gonna take him. And is whatever this country is, is also a no-brainer. Taking him. All right, so now we got a match against Walsall, who we beat earlier in the season. So, yep, we beat them again. Absolute obliteration this time, but is what it is. Because I just wanted to win. Another simulated match coming up against Accrington, who, yeah, we beat with Balcom Bev. Coming in and scoring. Very good stuff. Alright, so we've been moving up in the table. And a win here, I think we're in the top six, which means promotion is looking more and more likely this season after a terrible start. Alright, first match of the day. That took a little break because it was 11 p.m. playing those games last night. And it's against Bristol Rovers. I think we can do good against them, but you never know. We can do anything from winning by like four or losing by like seven in this series. So it really depends on how who shows up. Oh, 
to Chikaya's in behind. Beautiful finish from Tichikaya to make the scoreline 1-0. to zero. This game, they got a really good chance early this match already. But we went back right down the other way and got a chance just as good. Which, honestly, kind of a W. And now, we can move on in this match and hopefully... Just destroy them, honestly. With Ixen running. No one could seem to stop him. Ixen just ran through that whole team and finishes. I don't know how he got the number 10, but he got it. And he really deserves it. Because he just ran through that entire team and places one right into that bottom corner. Very good stuff. So now, you have a two-goal cushion. Might be playing a little more defensively now, just to make sure we don't blow the lead. Adebayo Akinfenwa is having, Adebayo Akinfenwa is having a blast. Evans with the cross. What the happened to Johnny Evans? Now on the run. We're playing Thyxen. Thyxen is in again. And he finishes again. This might be the biggest ball of all time if we keep going with this. But Thyxen has two in 30 minutes. I think it's the bet. He's just outpacing everybody. Even when Hughes was scoring, Hughes was just turning and like lashing shots. And this is the first player that just outpaced everybody and finished them. Which I kind of like that. So if he can continue this, he'll be that guy. Block. He's to a goal for them. Like, I hate how their blocks go straight to them or way out of the way, but my blocks fall right back to the player's feet. It's just something a little interesting. Oh, he's just not fast enough. Thanks, and just not getting back up. Oh, that's a red. Well, it has to be a red. He was just dribbling so nonchalant, and their player went through the back. Mark Tam is really fighting for that red. And it is. Who is that? Trevor Clark is sent off in the 35th minute. This has been a very eventful first 35 minutes. It falls right to Al Mahal's head. Mark Tam. Oh my god. We are running a riot at this game. You know it's bad when we score a long shot. Because that never happens anymore. I don't like I'm um, shooting curling long shots just because they don't look as good when they go in. But at this point, whatever can go in, if it goes in, I'm happy. The keeper had a real power alert because, yeah, he put it on target, but not a very good shot, and it just loops the keeper. But you know, I'm happy. Good goal for Mark 10. Austin Matiwa. Oh, but Thyxen just burners. It's going to Matiwa anyways. We take a 5-1 lead in the first half. Um, This kind of comes out of nowhere in the season. When literally every game has been tight. And the most goals we've scored in a game is 5. And a 5-2 win. So to be able to score 5 in the first half. Really has to mean something. That's a very good finish by Matiwa. Being able to put that in the bottom corner. This keeper isn't very good. He thinks he's wide open. <laughs> I like contact. He might have got a red. Good tackle. That's going to be half. Just play it long. If you won this header, probably could have played in Fanalua, but really, the ref did the right thing and called for halftime. So we go into halftime. Winning 5 to 1. This is the first and only score. So far, this series, that I do not think we can blow in the second half. Of course, we have four different goal scores, which is pretty cool. I'm going to make a lot of subs, though. All right, so Matiwa, Babana, and Chikai come out for Rojas. Berba, whatever his name is, the Kazakhstan guy. 
and Rosales, a Panamanian CDM, comes in for his first game with the club. So hopefully he can be doing good. Jesse does not do good defense there. Oh, Mahal with an outstanding block. Don't cut. Go to angles. This team is playing despicable. Play man. That touch was despicable by you, Borja. I'll play man again. For his first goal for the club, he does the right thing. Gives Thikes in his hat trick. And honestly, for him and for the club, that means more than a first goal for him, I would assume. Because he got an assist, plus he got someone else their first hat trick for the club. I think first because I can see him scoring plenty more. He's been just getting in the right spots and just running through that defense. He's been playing extremely well. Look at this. I could have easily shot and probably scored, but I'd rather give him his hat trick. So good stuff. Trying to make it seven. In the Boja Rojas. Back posts. Does it really find him? That's scam. That's kind of disappointing because we should have scored another. But is you know it's not disappointing. Winning six to one. And I think them getting that red card actually made them play slightly better defense. I don't know why. Like it was right the game was already done when they got the red, but kinda of changed the game. And only ended up winning six to one. And Thyson, who shot the ball three times, it's a hat trick. Now I got a match against AFC Wimbledon to simulate against. Let's see how we do. One one draw is really respectable, but at this point of the season, I think we need wins. We also got monthly scouting reports. Right here's from the Chinese Tapia. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure that's completely wrong. We're taking that one guy, the one guy that doesn't look Chinese. Not because of that, but just saying. Um, we took to Latvia, which for some reason only has six players, but they have a place to scout. I didn't do it the normal way though. I was dumb and had to do it through the looking at the actual cheat engine. And now Zambia. This guy looks pretty good. Yeah, everyone else doesn't look very good. So let's get on to the next match now. And I'll show you if they're good or not. Another match to simulate. And this team's once against probably Town, who's like in twentieth place. So we should be able to win this match pretty easily. And we do. Fenalua and Mark Tam scoring. Well Mark Tam gets a yellow. I don't think that's enough to get him suspended, but you might have to keep that in mind. Right here we got a match against Sutton. You might be able to notice I haven't changed the team around. It's because I'm trying to get wins at this point. I just want to get a tie that works. I just want to get promoted at this point. Next season, we can focus on building up players again. I know the match, like, right after it, my players are tired. But their players are also tired, so. It really should balance out. And 3-0 win with Matiwa scoring a brace and Mafu took anyone. It's really good stuff. Hopefully, we dominated them. They had two shots. This is a really good game from us. Now I got another match against Port Vale. I think we had one like an episode ago. Um, this match, I could see is winning, but you really never know. We went three to one. Let's see what gets another brace. So two into back to back games. The team looked at like uh, the team looked like they outplayed us, but in the end, goals are what matters, and we got them. So good stuff. All right, so this game's against Harrogate, who's like in one t or nineteenth place. So I decided I'm going to make a cha two changes. Patterson back in goal. Not because Hessein did bad, but because Patterson does really good when I play him. And what at the end, that right winger, because Ababana has been non existent for a little bit now. Look at stuff, Sally. Play him through. Good stuff. Dykes in behind. Gaining a lot of room. Just take a touch of blast that in. Oh my god. We might have found our new attack, um, starting left winger. I said in the beginning of the episode, I'm pretty sure that I'm looking for one. 
from the beginning of last episode. I was looking for one. After a couple games, Thigson did the best, but he only did alright. But now that I'm just feeding him through balls, he's been playing insane. And Ababana's not even getting a chance to shine no more. So, I think Akifan was really happy. But yeah, Thigson's going to be that guy. And then cut in. Cut in again. We'll play him through. Front post. Beautiful. Tiwa makes it 2-0 right at the end of the first half. I don't know. The game's been feeling kind of easier now. Like, they're not scoring insane shots like they should be. And the defense is kind of falling over each other. So I'll have to check that out. But it doesn't take away from how good that finish is. No keeper. Any difficulty is going to save that. That is beautiful from Matiwa. Don't let him get through. Hit that out. That should be half. Yep. Good stuff. Ref. You gotta be kidding me, ref. I was well far back enough. I wanna be perfect with the score right now. And we get one back. Jew. Hit it out. Another good block. But literally five minutes in. He scored that in the 50th minute. On a plus two. This ref really hates us, but this happens every time. I was well far back enough, and the ref didn't call it. You'll see, though, ref. You'll see. But yeah. Um, we go into half 2-1, to one, what it really be. Should, should be 1, but the 2-0, to zero, because this ref is awful. All right, Fenelua goes out. Matiwa pushes back to center mid, so Rojas can come in center forward. And I put Mafuta back in. Yeah, Sally was doing really good, but that should be a red. It is a red. <laughs> Half just started, and they're already down 10 men. Good tackle. Good pass. Oh. Alright. He didn't get his first goal last match when I played, but he gets his first goal this match. They get a player sent off, and then within two minutes of getting a player sent off, they go down another goal. This game turned from close to kind of out of touch for them within a couple sec seconds of in-game time. Look at this. Not even a minute into the half. They're going by real time. And they're already down a player and down two goals. Okay, Mofuta. Mofuta just lied down on the ground. He's going for a tackle using his momentum, the like, ball. He just lied down. Played off his juice head. Only make it three to three. I was talking all the smack about making it three to one and stuff. And then my team just forgets how to play, it seems like. And we they go to tie it three to three right away. Pass back. Yes. I think that's Rojas again. It is. Makes it 4-3. to three. I don't know. Because I kind of wanted to lay it back to I think it was Mocktown at the top of the box. But at the same time, like right at the top of the box. At the same time, Rojas found himself wide open. And the game decided they wanted Rojas to get it. So I was like, alright, might as well just shoot right here. And puts in an outstanding shot. Makes it 4-3. to three. And Now we have the lead. But for how long? Who knows? This is up brilliantly. Oh, good cross. Oh, Matiwa at the back post makes it 5-3. to three. I, I don't know what's happening in these games. My team's just scoring at will. And the crosses. Well, I think it's the first cross goal of the match. Or series, maybe. Not for us a series. That's a very good header by Matiwa. He's like one of, I think, three players to score header, and he's done it twice. I think same with Al Mahal though. Of someone who's five foot eight, off of five foot nine, that's pretty good. A run. Oh, Thigson finds himself in again, but he sweats it across to Matiwa. I was really trying to get that to Rojas for his hat trick, but. 
it locked on to Matiwa the pass. So Matiwa gets a brace. Rojas has a brace. And I think it's Thyson has one. And what's six, right? Yeah, I don't know who has the other goal. I guess we're going to be able to see right here now. But a, a 6 3 win is very impressive. Oh, Matiwa has three. So Matiwa, Hadrick. Um. I'm pretty sure he scored one last match. So, Matiwa with four in two matches. And Thaxon with four in two matches as well. I mean, I think we found a new front. A, a new striker. But the youth account reports. First off, with Honduras. No brainer, everyone else. No one house isn't anyone near us overall. Like I say, the potential is going down. 75. Well, this is tough. Okay, I'm only going to choose him because he has a 500k valuation. He has 170. Yeah, that looked about right then. Ooh. So he has a. He can play center back probably. I'm going to choose him because he can probably plays center back. I need to let go of somebody. Who's someone like really good potential I can just throw out of the team? Oh, who? Maybe give Chandra a new team? Maybe give Chandra a new team. Everyone else can hear gets rejected. And yeah. Alright, so it's the end of the episode. Right now we look at the players who I think deserve it i was doing in the beginning four play um one play from every match but i kind of don't want to kind of don't remember the two from last night i remember what happened but i don't remember who scored and who assisted and i don't remember who overall play well so i'm probably just gonna pick four and from today no doubt it it honestly has to be matiwa thygson and rojas but i think Thigson getting the plus two. But on, I don't know who else. Probably. Uh, that, um, I don't know. Uh, Patterson's an easy one. Chikaya. Elmahal. I'll do Elmahal. Elmahal gets a plus one. So let me go do that real quick. And then when it comes to the end of the episode right now. Alright. So you can see now. I boosted his pace in dribbling. Because I just wanted to be a little... Um, monster in the bottom divisions. Who knows how he is in the top divisions, but just with pace and dribbling alone, you can go through the um through to the Premier League. But Siwa, I think I got his passing and dribbling up a little bit, just you know, making him more attacking and trying to stray away from him just being all rounded and playing defense. But you know, defending works for sentiment. Um, hell, just gave him defense. Somehow he's two overalls lower. I think it's the dribbling and passing means so much. Then Rojas, I gave a boost to passing and pace because he needs it. His agility bounce is really good right now. Who else's agility bounce is really good? Really? Only a Babanas? No, oh, Embaretti. Yeah, so this team's looking really good now. So, I mean. I think there's only one left thing, one thing left to do. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you guys later. Peace.